Hello guys, Cobox again. And this time we are going to do Gus Grissom's Liberty Bell 7 flight, which Jebediah Kerman will be reenacting today. So, I didn't bother to do the whole thing while I'm over there and, you know, it's nighttime, because that would just take too long. So, we're just gonna s get going with it. So, let's retract this thing. There it goes. Okay, that's just gonna die. Why is it wobbly? Okay, it's a bit too wobbly. So, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. Alright. So, roll program. Okay, so, pretty much the same thing as last flights, but this time, uh, well yeah, it is basically the same, isn't it? I'm trying to reenact these as closely as possible. Um, on the last video, the retrograde rockets weren't exactly, um, realistic to the actual thing, because they fired about five seconds apart from each other, so, yeah, that's just one minor flaw in the thing. And this one will do the same thing, so... It's pitch over. I'm actually going to throttle down a bit here. Okay, and the thing is going to go away. We're just going to ride out. And we're out of fuel now. There goes the launch tower. And capsule jettison. Alright, so now we're just gonna turn around again like we did the last time. Hopefully not mess up. Okay. So let's take a look at the map. Uh -huh, there goes the launch that thing goes far what the f what the f thing goes far okay back to ah. I set the setting the quality up a bit more so it would look a little better hopefully that doesn't impact this thing a lot because I have a really good computer and I think the only reason why it's lagging is because I'm uploading a video on my other channel right now, and it's... That's probably what's making the lag, oh my god. So hopefully... It's still gonna... What, make it... Okay, it's 313. Gonna wait a little bit more before we fire the retro rockets. And we're gonna have to get into the retro position first. Alright. Retro position was about right there, so. Now it's a little bit further up. About there. And we're gonna get to the moon 
landing lunar landing of in this series soon so yeah let's fire the retros now Couple that. Get into the um the re entry position. Dang, I am not good at this now. Alright. So we're just gonna watch it and make sure nothing goes wrong. Hopefully nothing will. I wonder what this plate was, if they like took it off or something, because it looks like there's, there was something there, but now it's gone. And that doesn't look right. So, yeah, something probably happened. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward it a bit. We should see the re-entry effect soon. There we go. Then the heat shield is going to turn red for a little bit and then go away. And there it is. Oh, and we have a little... Uh, what do you call it? That was just a little stream of air. Or whatever you call it, okay. Let this thing off. Then again in about 3,000 this time, hopefully I don't mess it up. There we go. Then there goes the... Okay. So we're just gonna fast forward it until it opens up fully and then fast forward a little bit again. And then... Okay, it's about to open up. There it is. And we're just gonna fly down there. Alright, so this was Gus Grissom's Liberty Belt 7 flight. Hope you enjoyed, and next one we will be using the Mercury Atlas rocket. And that's another one I built the launch complex for. And we're gonna do dang it, stop talking. We're gonna do John Glenn's Friendship Seven flight. So yeah, that'll be pretty fun. And splash down. Alright guys, that's the end of Gus some flight. And I'll see you when we do John Glenn's flight.